In this video, I'm going to be testing a scene from the movie Unstoppable. It's actually a scene I tested in an earlier video, but I wanted to give it another chance because I realized one reason I couldn't catch up to that train might have been because it wasn't being slowed down by uphill uh, section of the track that probably would have existed in the real life version. So. For this, uh, for this um, test, I added a few uphill grades to see if I can slow down this train enough so that this locomotive can catch up with it. Okay, remember they had a like a 30 second conversation before pulling out and deciding to actually chase after this locomotive, so I'm going to give it a few seconds to get ahead of me before actually pulling out. Okay, time to go. Wow, this is actually a really good interior. The speedometer actually works, even the digital one. UP detector, milepost 38.0, main 2, no defects, repeat, no defects, total axle 1, 6. Zero. Length of train, two, three, six, eight. Train speed, six, nine, M, D, e H. Detector, out. I can barely see out here. Even if I do catch up with it, there's no way for me to know if I actually like, successfully coupled to it. Detector, milepost 38.0, main 2, no defects, repeat, no defects, total axle 4, length of train 6, 5, train speed 7, 8, M, E, H, detector, out. But I have 6 axles. It might be a while before I actually catch up to it. I think I'm actually catching up to him. Looks a, a little bit closer than it was last time. Actually, I actually think this is possible. I can actually see the back of the train right now. I think we're getting close. Oh man, I think I'm actually catching up with it. Detector, 
milepost 38.0. Main 2. No defects. Repeat. No defects. 160. Length of train 2. 68. Train speed 6. 9 M P H detector out. U P detector milepost 38.0. Main 2. No defects. Repeat. No defects. Total axle 4. Length of train 6. 5. Train speed 7. 8 M P H detector out. We're what? We're, we're right on its tail now. We're really close now. I am really surprised by this outcome. We're actually closing in on it. I'm not sure, but I think I'm coupled to it right now. Let me let me check. It looks like it's coupled. The thing is, I'm not really sure if this is powerful enough to actually stop the train. It may be powerful enough when going uphill to slow, to, to slow down the train just enough so that someone could climb aboard and, you know, get to the controls, but I don't really think that it's actually going to stop in real life. It may stop in the game, but that's only because the game doesn't understand what's going on here, and it thinks that simply because I'm leading the train, then when I press the brakes, everything has to stop. <laughs> 